young and brash and thought I knew it all, a buddy of mine was up. And I quit because of, um, I only do the wish of my father. Because um, when uh, he just wanted me something to fall back on because he was the child of depression. He always says, okay, I don't care if you're a fighter, I don't care if you're a crazy man, whatever you want to do, just get an education so you can fall back on. You won't know it now. And he says, I know you want me. Go to school first. Just do me a favor. So him being real poor and real tight and everything else, I figured I'll do take it out and get him here. Okay, from here. And and that or you can just come up and shoot it out here if you want. So there's very different variations. I don't like to see something like this because what happens is what happens, you get hit. So in the dosapades and stuff like that, we incorporate the left hand a lot. So it's not just one-handed thing. A lot of times you'll see guys go this way and all that and nah. You put a big stick on your back, you see if you can stop it like that. But you can always stop it like that. So think of this as a bat. If you can't stop this bat, then you're in trouble, right? Not this flimsy stick. So that's how I look at, at the sticks. When I see guys doing all this fancy stuff like that, forget it. You're going to get hurt. But you can always relate to it like that, even with the bat. So you're out of the way, you're hitting. So that's one. So on this thing here, when you're doing one, you want to hit here. Okay, we go one right to the head. Now remember, when you come up, you come to the side. And this is going to block it. This is your main block, not the stick. Stick is a diversion. So here is a stopping of the stick. This is here, I'm to the side, then whack, right here. Okay, from here, you're gonna hit here, boom. Okay, so you're just gonna go here, bam, boom. Just like that, okay? That's all you're gonna do for now, because what I want you to do is get the parries first. Then we can go into the combinations after that. Any questions? Go ahead and pick a partner and do this. So you go one, two. Then you can come straight down, straight back up. Then cross. Okay, can you get that? Okay, so you got one, two, straight in, right? Right from me, just truck it. See, actually, this is a hook. Then you're gonna hook it right back in, then straight in. Okay, try that. that that's the simple combination. Boom, boom. Now this is a, this is almost a hook. So you you're coming around, almost boom. Shoot it out this way. Boom, right, right there. You were ticking right at it. Then you come straight in. Okay? Real simple. Just curve it right in. Boom. One, two, three. Then just curve it right in, like that. Curve it right in. Okay? Sometimes I might change it on you, so. Just a small little disarm here. And this is going to drop it straight here. Right on that, right on that arm. Okay, from here, real simple. See, real simple. Just lay it here, and you're gonna. This here is like it's gonna fulcrum. Up. See that? You see that? Now the harder he he holds that, the worse it is for him. See? You see? See how simple that is? So what you're doing is you're coming here. Boom, 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 boom. That's gonna be taken. So that's a disarm, okay? So you, I'm gonna put a little disarm from each one so you know that it can, you can, the guy can be disarmed from any, any angle, okay? So we come up here, two, three, shoot, here, drop it straight down. See this here now? You're gonna torque this here. You see how I'm torque? Remember, this is a live hand. You torque this here and a simple disarm. Just because you do this, he's not going to let go. So you end up struggling. So you let the technique do it. Okay, so when this thing hits here, you're going to bring this hand up. See, now he's beginning to feel that. See? Now he's beginning to feel that, and that's not enough pressure. The harder 
longer you hold, the worse it is for him. So this, but if I do this, and I do this, he's not going to let go. You follow what I'm saying? So it's not really the stick either. The stick is like a winch, so that you put something there that he can't move it. This is the actual application right here. See, the more, look at his face. You see? And I'm not doing that. So we want to make sure that everybody can use this technique. Not if it's big, small, or whatever. We want this technique to work against guys who are big and monster or strong. So we want to make, it, make sure it works for you. And when this is here, it's already disarmed. See how simple? And I'm not using strength. But you, he's holding it this way. Okay. And if he's got high tolerance for pain, that's great because I want to break his wrist. So thank you. Uh, Robbie, let me yeah, give you a number two. Number two strike would be from the side neck. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just want to do number two. Number two, you would just want to keep it right here. So it's coming by the neck right here. Okay? So what you want to do is keep it here. Now here, you got different ways of blocking it. See how I'm blocking the stick and my, and my, my hand's blocking the stick? You can block it here if you want here or augment. I would never want to see you block a stick like this. I don't care how strong I am, he's going to really get me here. Because from here, remember, you're using two hands, right? The guys who's using one hand sparring with sticks would block like this. What happened? Mm -hmm. Exactly. exactly what happens. But because you're using two, you're going to make sure that you're going to stop this stick. Okay, now from here, you can always shoot it up again. You see? See how simple that is? It's right there. But from here, you get hit. By the time you get hit, th this guy's already got you. So you're here, you're argumenting. Boom! See, now here, that stick is, is, is really safe because remember, this is where I'm worried about. He's weak here, just like a roundhouse punch. This is the hardest punch. Here is the weakest. You stop a roundhouse from here, or a shoulder, before it even starts. So, but you stop from here. Uh-uh. <laughs> He's too powerful, because that's again a punch. You stop in here. It's easy. So that's the same principle. For instance, for instance if he stows a hook, if I do this, I get hit. Okay. But the same thing if I do here, I don't get hit. If I'm here, I don't, I'm tight, I don't get hit. It's the same principle with the stick, so that, that I've got two hands. So if I'm here, I'm here. Then I'm inside. See? Then I'm, I'm here ready to strike. Remember, when you guys are learning the hits, uh, even with the stick, because I'll show you with the stick, if this guy hooks in, I'm shooting it and I hit, then you're gonna say, well, what kind of power am I delivering with that short? Same thing here. The power doesn't come from way back here. The power comes from here. It's knuckle power and hip power. See? Because like I said, each individual one of you may not be as strong. So if I give you something that's gonna be very effective, like the eyes, throat, you can, you can relate with that, right? Anybody? So that's what I'm saying. I don't need, I mean, yeah, I'm powerful enough to knock him out with a punch, but I want, I want to look pretty while I'm <laughs> killing him, see? So, so first of all, when he comes in with that, I block it here. First thing I do is right to the eye. Remember, right there, so simple. So simple, see? See, the parries are so simple. And same thing with the stick. You don't, what I'm trying to get at is that, I said, I'll go, you don't block with one hand and then come around and do all this. Well, that's what the, the guys do with sticks, if you really think about it with one stick. You need to block with, with, with maximum efficiency, regardless of if it's a hook, a straight punch, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? And he's gonna run right into my elbows, you see? So, so that's the same thing with the parries. How, I'm telling you how important the parries are. You know, boxing 20 years ago never used it, but now with the, 
with guys that are learning the parries and not getting hit, it's more valuable lesson. He said, he said, because even if the guy jabs, you can do from him. He said, it, it doesn't matter. And, it, and if you if he jabs, and you real quick, you take him out in a jab. Okay, but those are things that boxers think they can get you with. And I've, I tricked many boxers, I mean, the guy's jabbing, bounce around, I take him in midair. <laughs> How'd you do that? You know that? Those, are things that those are things that martial artists don't teach you. And they think they can't be done. And I'm telling you, you just see that it can be done. I don't care how fast your jabs are. It's a technique, okay? So, let's go ahead. Number two would be from here. Sorry, like I said, I was cheating. Here, you can augment here or here, okay? Augment from here. Same motion is straight in. Instead of coming straight in, natural, let's give you one of one of these, okay? Then let's, let's come down here and here, okay? There's a little variety in this one, okay? So augment from here, boom, okay? Straight in from, how did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> augment from here, then I come here. Slice it in, then straight in. Okay? Yeah. But don't try to anticipate his moves. That's where your downfall is going to be. Because he may not, he may give you a whip around or he may see you trying to judge. See? Bam. So you don't want to do that. If it's there, it's great. Because in the vicinity, it will be there. <laughs> but don't make it where you're going to chase that hand. Okay, because there's always other things that you can do with that hand. For instance, if I do here, bam, see? Right, right there, bam, right there. Then I'm hitting, boom, slicing. Remember, this is, sometimes this is like a sword, so you've got to slice. But I like the tip, remember the tip? Then here, you're going to hit, boom. Okay, now from here, look, from here, this is another disarm. Okay, all you're going to do, all you're going to do is just, or, no, let's do it from here then. You're gonna just take this and just bring this out. Okay? We'll give you that one. Okay, so I'll do it slow so you know. Hit here, hit here, okay? Straight down here, boom. Bring this over a little bit like this. Now right in that wrist area, right in the hollow area. You wanna, remember that bend right there? Now with this elbow, you want to just turn it. See, now I'm still grabbing him here. Then straight down. Okay, real simple. Real simple. If you have any problems, you, you want to try it again? You want to do that again? Just okay. Here. Okay. Well, any type of hitting.